Man, it's a beautiful day today. It's nice and sunny. For days of the first sunny day in months, uh, where it's like almost annoyingly hot, but it's it's nice. Um, what was it? Uh, I was visiting my friend William, and um, we, we've known each other for a very long time, and done lots of cool projects together. He has a very large CNC machine. Uh, I also found out that he has a laser machine for laser scribing. So that means, yes, I, we can start offering laser scribing and drop shipping for you guys on your brand. So we get the blank amps in. I just ordered a bunch more of the, the half bridge uh, class D ones. Fucking Amazon gave me a credit card. I was like, oh shit, we're maxing that out real quick. And then uh, I come to see my buddy, um, William, who's got this uh, HDPE. This is the three quarter inch. I think he also has some quarter inch. <clears throat> so, so yeah, so that means with the quarter inch stuff, we can do uh, box terminals, we can do uh, fuse holders and all that kind of stuff. And I'd love to make it really cheap where we just make the base and then you supply the hardware. And then that way, if you if you want to be like Steve Mead and offer copper hardware, then fucking go for it. Um, again, we, we would love to do a, like your logo or something like that. Um, we want to do a lot of stuff where we can just uh, process one small part of the chain uh, and then you do the rest of the work. Uh, because a lot of the, the money that's in things like that is in the assembly and things like that. It's not really in the materials. And he has a bunch of spare materials because he used to do um, RV uh, interiors. And the, uh, the client ended up uh, getting bought and then restructuring and then they basically dropped him as a vendor, but they still owe him money and it's kind of deep. But um, I said, look, man, if you got scraps of that stuff, I would love to like market it for you or do something like that. So we're going to do a couple of prototypes and then um, we're going to put them up in his uh, Etsy store uh, for him to sell. Um, and then, I, like I said, I told them what I would uh, uh, promote it for... Um, just for sales, you know, because he's doing me a favor, I can do him a favor. But um, so, <laughs> you know what he actually suggested was somebody making an enclosure out of this stuff. This is three quarter inch HDP, and uh, it is very dense, very thick, very heavy. I would not ship it, um, but if you're local here in Phoenix and you want to do something with it, please let me know. Um, the only way to really bond it is um, to uh, bolts, to use bolts, and so you can you can do that and um and then to seal it up i think you can i would just use caulking i wouldn't even you can you can melt it if you wanted to but i would just do caulking to make sure it gets all sealed up so but there's that application as well and then of course like i said the steve mead anything steve mead you know he's got three cnc machines yeah so what it's like he doesn't he still doesn't need to fucking charge a hundred dollars for a fucking box terminal but he does so um we're gonna do that um yeah because what, what was it? Uh, I think this was a couple weeks ago, about a month ago. Um, Mr. Uh, Recoil guy. I got to turn the air. I actually got to turn on the air. This is great. Um, what was it? Uh, I was asking, hey, can we import the box terminal under the Recoil brand? And he, he didn't even want to pay the tooling for the for the logo, which was like twelve hundred dollars. I go, why don't you just make a generic and import it? And he. He, he like banged on the desk and yelled at me and he's like if you want to fucking do that you can do it i was like okay so i was like i, I will do that and uh because again i think it's the future man I don't, I don't i don't think building a brand is the way to go but again his 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 goals are different than mine he wants to retire and sell the brand off to somebody else eventually so like like what's that guy colin did uh for wolfram so you get somebody else to buy it and then what do you know prices go up and quality goes down and then it's not his problem anymore and then he goes and starts surge that's hilarious and then he does paid promotion through uh fucking big d whiz uh with that amp which is it's basically all it is is a wolfram amp but it's cheaper and it's gray it's hilarious but um again i would love to bring that stuff to you guys and then let you um uh the laser engrave it for yourselves or your your fucking car club or whatever you guys want to do but uh i got an appointment here in the next uh five minutes and i just wanted to give you the good news about that uh, hdp and then um uh, they have it in black or gray uh right now that's what he has a lot of stock of and um uh, i actually went to go see him to see if he could uh, uh run aluminum on his cnc because the 
the machine shop boys are super busy so but I'm gonna go see them probably later today or tomorrow uh, to see if I can get these adapters done uh, we want to do like a big batch of the um, the HCCA adapters uh, which is the I think it's 145 millimeter uh, bolt hole circle but it's uh, eight positions uh, number 1032 screws uh, and then we convert it to the 135 pattern that is on the new TI frame so we got to do that for a couple people because I know if uh, one guy's having that problem there's many other people that are having that problem so but uh, just a quick update. I love you guys. I will talk to you later.